<laughs> what you got, dude? Dude, I have a little present from our friends over at King of Random. King of Random. They presented us with this foam toilet, and they asked us to do them a little favor and make it fly. Now, if this is your first flight test video, first of all, welcome to the family, but also, one thing we absolutely love to do is making really crazy off-the-wall things fly. That's whether it's a simple Walmart chuck lighter. Oh my God! <laughs> yes! Or if it's all the way up to an A-10 versus a monster tank. <laughs> Woo! Tank on fire! That eventually, we even make fly as well. Come on, get her in there! So we obviously love making things fly that are crazy, but our real passion is to inspire people to try out model aviation, to get them making memories together, and get them building and creating together. And this is something any of you guys can do. So if we're gonna make a toilet fly, we gotta make it fly cool, but we also gotta make it look like, you know, someone could sit on it and do their business while they're flying through the air. And I think they've challenged us with uh, dropping some poop emojis. Is that right, Stefan? Uh, that is true, yeah. my friend. This is exciting. I'm, I'm like excited this. to see this. Yeah, that'll work. Dang, that's good, dude. <laughs> they did a really good job building this nice and light. So we can't put our motors or anything in the front here. I'm thinking we use right here. So it's kind of like a mid, mid wing. Mm -hmm. And then, Tail. We can't have the tail blocking out this this elevator. We can't put it behind here. Remember the chair plane and stuff? How right, yeah. it would blank it out. And here we go. Three, two, one, and we're going up. What? Oh, what? What if we do two booms? Yeah. That actually makes it pretty easy because here's a couple things. Yeah. We have some structural hard points we can use right down in here. Yep. I think the first thing we need to do because we only have one of these, see if it glides and then we can find out where the weak points are, where the moments where the CG is going to be, and then maybe work around our power system around that. My next step now is I'm going to go ahead and go to my Corel Draw. I'm going to go ahead and sketch up a three view, and I'm going to go ahead and make this a laser file so I can cut these pieces out. I'm going to go ahead and start with the wings, see how they mount, and then go ahead and design from that point back. All right, my pieces are cut out. Time to start building. By now, if you're familiar with flight tests, you may have noticed that this wing shape looks a little familiar. What I did is I went ahead and went to our Simple Scout, which is a really awesome trainer plane that looks a lot like a World War I fighter. So what I did is I took that, I stretched out the wings. Nice thing about this is this is a very high lift airfoil, very stable. It should fly nice and slow, but also I can modify this and cut away to get that final form that I'm looking for. Balance point of the toilet. Balance point's like right there. You know what? This may actually be just fine. I'm thinking two motors and the two booms. I mean, that it looks nice. Does it look good? What I don't want is I don't want it to be a huge airplane that carries a tiny toilet. I want like the focal point to be the toilet. I want it to be like, is that a toilet flying? And then notice the airplane kind right. of thing. You know what I, I mean? like that. Let's do this. Let's go get the other wing built. Yeah. We'll put yeah. it on there. Okay. We'll look at it. Yeah. And then we'll take, we'll make a decision from there. What do you think? <laughs> like it? Dude. Is it too small now? No, or? dude. I think we got a good, again, we got good wings. I think we got a good setup. Um, yeah. So what's next? I'm gonna run the Lowe's and I'm gonna get some aluminum for the spar because I'm sick and tired of snapping wings in flight. I just get... oh! Oh! oh my God. <laughs> All right, little toilet. Ready to fly, buddy. It's gonna happen. What we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna try to make our booms, rather than making them foam board, we're gonna make them out of aluminum angle. There's not gonna be much foam board in this build other than the control surfaces, uh, which is kind of cool because, uh, heck, a toilet, DIY, plumbing, aluminum, yeah, it all fits. <laughs> it's going pretty good. <laughs> Dude, that looks like a mighty sword. I'm gonna go ahead and Cut a bevel, bend this to dihedral, and then pop rivet a, a plate in the back. So okay. that way it'll it'll hold the dihedral real strong. Pump it. Pump it. Isn't that fun? That's awesome. Spent his counting. That's not yeah, that's not going anywhere. anywhere. One more. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to look good. Oh yeah, look at that little guy. I'm gonna cut 
a groove into the back of the toilet where this will kind of notch in. And then what I'm thinking is, is taking this back plate and putting like a piece of uh, plywood on it, something real strong. That'll get the support of this whole section. I'm even gonna key it up inside this tank. I'm probably also gonna shove something from the wings going into the bowl so we have some forward leverage too. So it's just gonna, it's, it'll all marry together. We need to figure out our moment. If I have this tail way far back here, it's gonna make the plane very easily tail heavy, but also the elevator is gonna do a lot of work for us. If I make it more compact, it actually gets the, you know, tail heavy potential issue going away, but the elevator has to work a lot more to pitch it because it's just like a lever. You know, if I'm pushing here, I'm gonna have to push a lot harder than if I'm pushing back here. Typically with my planes, I like the moment being on the more shorter coupled side because I love exaggerating my control surfaces a lot, but also it kind of keeps it looking kind of cartoon and funny. We have a flying toilet. Why not have it actually be able to TP things? Something to hold a toilet paper roll. Like so when right we, under. Yeah, so when we release it, basically it unrolls with the prop thrust. It'll unroll the toilet paper on both sides. So we flip a servo and then like blue angels, except it's poo angels. You down? All right. Love it. Let's see if I can hold this all in one hand. What do you think? Ah. Feeling it? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tail on the top so that way all that air that's blocked by the toilet back, the tank, uh, will not interrupt the elevator. Look at this, look yeah. at your rudder right now. You know right. what it looks like? It looks like the the thing out of those wacky races. Dick Dastardly. And and Muttley. Muttley. Muttley, yeah. yes. Basically, there was this cartoon, and it was a weird cartoon, but they would have different airplanes, but they would fly the most crazy, obnoxious thing. Like, I remember one was an anvil. Excellent, Muttley. Excellent. <laughs> and so it's like, they would, hey. it would just kind of, like a hammer. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of just bunch different of crazy designs. Whenever you have a crazy project, take some inspiration from your childhood or something that fascinates you, because oftentimes that theme will help kind of guide you through some of the, the rough spots of the design, because you can look at something and be like, yeah, I want to go ahead and model after this. So we got water and we got Gorilla Glue. This is honestly our best friend along with expanding foam. I spray the medium surface with water, let it set and I lock it in with a little hot glue just to hold everything in place. And then the glue takes hold and does the rest of the work for me. The toilet plane is starting to really take shape here. One thing I have now is I have this mounted and I have a lot more boom than I need. Not really fond of what I'm seeing here. It looks a little bit too, too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and shorten this up and just kind of pin it right about here. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting components on, just kind of stitching them on, seeing how it balances. And from that point, I can move things backwards and forwards to get the right CG. So we want to show them what we got? Yes. All right. Cool. This is awesome. Check what this out. This is sweet. <laughs> All right. So nothing is square, nothing is straight. But what we really want to do is just find out what it looks like, what it feels like. So we got the wings mounted. Cool thing is you and I just tried to balance it. It balanced beautifully. So we're gonna have some motors up in the front. We're gonna have a battery. If anything, it's gonna be beautifully neutrally balanced. We still gotta put wheels on it. We still gotta put a lot of extra items on, last minute moment things. We're less than 24 hours of work away from having this ready to fly. What we can do now, so I'm gonna go right along that line. I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully puncture this in. There we go. We got this going through here. It's now connecting through this part of the tank, but more importantly, this front part of the tank, which means the leverage isn't gonna be as great. It should be a lot stronger. Also now I can go ahead and screw these two in across from each other and get even more strength. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time on the other side. Now, 
this thing is really married to the landing gear here. You can see that it's, it doesn't give any give whatsoever. But more importantly, the main structure is not tied to a foam toilet. It's tied to the actual airframe itself. Not only is this a special day because we get to make a toilet fly, but it's also really special because we get to try out a brand new motor that we designed from the ground up, and that's going to be our 4030 radial motor. Now this is specifically designed to be able to fly some of our huge monster projects, but also projects you can build too with our new monster foam coming out in the very near future. So this is going to be the first time it makes a fly. The cool thing about this motor is on a 4-cell, it'll swing a 20-inch prop. If you want a CPAC equivalent or a higher performance, you can go down to an 18-inch 3-blade on a 6-cell and have some crazy power. So these these are probably the most powerful motors we've ever developed, and I'm excited to see how they work. Oh, I'm feeling really good at this. <laughs> we were assessing the wind, and it's changing a lot. Yeah. Let's just face it, it's winter, it's Ohio. Love it. Want to put it in the air? I am ready to get this potty in the air. And as you can see, I have a transmitter as well. My only goal of today is to pop, is to, what is it? To drop poop emojis. I'm goal. ready. Let's do it. Once again, if you haven't seen the King of Random, they have a fantastic channel if you don't know who they are. Awesome. They do some awesome DIY, crazy random projects. All the people over there are great people. Yeah. Go check them out. Links below to their channel. No more talking. <laughs> no more No more pottying. We got one whack at this, man. It's time to poop or get off the potty. That's right. All right, guys. If this gets off the ground, we are in good shape. <laughs> I don't know what that tank's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, sir. Right. Good, good luck, luck, guys. Sir. Here we go. Get, get the started. toilet in the air. Party in the air. Party in the air. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Oh. You gonna put it down? You gonna put it down? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow, that was Wait intensity. I am like, I'm sure it's still in one piece. Is it still in one piece? I think it's still in one piece. <laughs> what is set down, Josh Bixler, dude? You're like 100 I, yards away. Oh my gosh. And there's a hill there. That. Okay, well, what do you say, round two? What was your assessment, Josh? I had no elevator. Really? Like zero like elevator? I was full up. I think it's too nose heavy. I All think right. we need to shift that battery back. But I do have a trick up my sleeve, something called flaps. Flaps. So oh, flaps. Cool. But let's go ahead and grab let's go it. Let's assess and see what happens. Dude, how, how worried were you when you were flying that? Terrible. <laughs> oh my god. It went from excitement to sheer terror. Well, it's not like we can go back and rebuild it either. What a landing, dude. Look at this, look at this plane. Look at this plane. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this plane right now. She's in one piece! Yes. <laughs> All right, we didn't even drop the poop emojis yet. <laughs> well, I guess we uh, pick it up and take it back, eh? I think we need to get this log on the outside of the toilet. Yeah, that's fine. This is about a third of the way back, and it's still still responsible. I think this is where we're... What we've done here is we've checked everything out. We've moved the center of gravity back. A lot. I, and I'm not sure that's the right thing. It may literally just completely swap ends, but at this point, if it's going to go wrong, I'm going to make it go really wrong. And then whatever happens, happens. Uh, so now it's time for round two. Round two. Are you right. ready, Sir Josh? Love you, Good man. Luck, sir. All right, let's do friend. this. Thanks for making a potty. Here we go. Get in the air. Yes. We're going to do it. Oh, yes. 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 Yes, you got it, dude. Yes. Oh, it's Look magnificent. At Look at you. You're fine. We're going to hold anything back in the air, dude. Let it go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh jeez, how is it? All right, I, I, I can't wait guys, I gotta drop them. Okay, you ready? All right, drop them, Steph. Boom emojis down, boom! Boom! Oh, that didn't go the way I thought. Do the other one, do the other I one. I am! Ready? It's stuck, I'm gonna need you to roll it. <laughs> we got some dingleberries. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, you have oh, one. Oh my goodness! Things. It didn't go the way I thought, but it's flying! We have a fly oh, it! <laughs> We're trying to drop How the poop emojis, it's just not happening. I'm still moving everything around. I cannot believe this is flying. Look, <laughs> at, the, look at the deflection on my elevator. I, it's like this, dude. I'm doing bad It's like a 90, 90 degree angle. How does she fly? She, she looks She flies stable. like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Dude, it's, it's dislodged in there. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I had such high hopes for that. Such high hopes. Could you uh, loop the toilet? I could not loop the toilet, okay. but I could roll the toilet. You could roll the toilet? Oh, okay. Geez. I'm feeling quality. You ready to do this? I'll yeah, give you a countdown. Good. In three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! 
We were on the awesome. <laughs> as, as bad as it was the first round, this second round has been this is, unbelievable. This is not my hopes and dreams, but I'll take it, man. This is. I just see the one poop emoji sitting there. I, know, I just want to. One's out. All right, dude. you guys. Do you guys want to land it? You yeah, yeah. Dude, 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 bring it in. It. If we can keep this in one piece, it's going to be a maybe, relic. Maybe bring it on in. Kick random can come visit us. Yes. We'll send come it in. Come in. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh. What, what happened? It hit the fan! It hit the, fan. <laughs> the toilet is literally in pieces! I, I literally was coming in to do a landing and it's just like I'm going this way and I'm going this way and I couldn't do anything. Did you lose all, all the things? I lost everything. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You, how'd you lose everything? Was it a radio link or? I don't know. I, I Well, here's the thing. There are certain parts. I didn't want to tell you guys this while I was flying, but there are certain parts <laughs> where the, the elevator is doing nothing for me. And Absolutely like, nothing. Like when I was turning around, there was points where I'm like, I could do this all day long. It's just, <laughs> it's just going to keep on going. Yeah, right. Let's go check out the damage. Let's go check it, it out. It great. The Dude, landing. Awesome. Yeah. Look where the battery is. It ripped out all the guts. Oh my God. This is just a great way to let the land of Edgewater Air Park know that we're coming. <laughs> we're close to we're being coming here. in hot. All right, that was amazing. That was yeah. so cool. <laughs> Guys, we can't thank you enough for being part of the Flight Test family. And King of Random, thank you so much. Uh, it was an honor from the beginning when you guys called us up and said, hey, we have a, an idea to collaborate with you guys. Man, do we have fun, and I hope we get the opportunity again. That was so cool. Yeah. If you guys haven't heard of the King of Random, please check them out, give them a like, give them a subscribe. Well, we got to clean up our mess and All build right. a divot. See you guys. See you next we'll time. See you guys.